Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, second episode of 0 0.42. 24, damn it. <laughs> Dyslexia gets me down every time. Right, okay. So, last time, you'll remember, we did our first two contracts amazingly well, and then the second contract kind of messed up. Uh, I know what I did wrong there. Um, and I think we're going to go in here and just mess around. Hopefully I've got the old fart there. Look at this, got the old one saved here. I've got another idea. I've got another idea. Uh, now, it means wasting a few of these solid boosters um, but I think we should be alright um, I've still not got the uh, what's the word I'm looking for I've still not got the um, what is the word I'm looking for parachutes the radial parachutes so we could bring these back safely uh, so what we're gonna do is just kind of attach uh, if I can bring this down to a single attach this to this decoupler here so we can decou decouple the decoupler yes um, in fact we don't even need that we'll just decouple the decoupler fire up all these solid boosters do you reckon these will get me up high enough because all we're trying to do is test this when we're up and up past 2.4 kilometers which is quite a height really is it not it actually is so let's let's think about this again let's come out here and scroll, scroll up so we know what gets us into orbit, right? It's something like this. Well, well not into orbit. What, what gets us up quite high? Now, I want these. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go with the same same plan. I know you just watched me take this apart. Um, so in here should be a decoupler. We're going to build. We're going to build an actual second stage. I know craziness. Uh, but this is the test platform that needs to do everything up in the air. Um, so what we need after to do after that is something to get us up to 2.4 kilometers, which I think now this is going to cost a lot. Where, where is our money kept? It's down here. So we're going to do this. We're going to have a proper rocket, like a proper rocket. Uh, we don't have radial decouplers yet, but I think we can get away with doing this. No, no, we can't. Okay. So if we can't get away with doing that, what are we going to do? The couplers, maybe some modular grid, uh, modular girders. That fits like that. Does this fit on here? Yes. Is it ever so slightly too long? Yes. Okay, so let's put this on here, take this off, move it down. maybe offset it so it's not quite so you see the problem that I'm having here is that it's interacting with these engines up top there we go I think this should get us up to a fair height and then we'll have a decoupler on the bottom just because decouplers need to be fired on the ground as per our contracts contract terms terms is the, the word I was looking for there this the whole new set of uh, of jargon I need to learn for, for the new series. Uh, it's not as if I'm great with words anyway. So test platform number two. Yep, we're gonna launch this. <laughs> okay, wish me luck guys. I feel like I need it. Okay, Jebediah Kerman sat here for uh, launch number three, hopefully successful flight number two. Uh, first things first, we are on the ground, yes? Uh, I hope so. Um, right, boosters. Oh, where's... Oh, we must have already done it then. Okay, well... There we go, that went well. <laughs> Nothing like an explosion to start your day off. Let's go! Right, we should get up there relatively easily. I'm gonna ease... No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna push up our, our fuel. Um, we're gonna try and have it so that we eat up all the liquid fuel at the same rate we're eating the solid fuel. That doesn't look like it's gonna happen at this rate. The, the solid fuel is definitely burning faster. Uh, and we need to get up to uh, a superior height. 2.2 kilometers, in fact. That's, oh no, 22 kilometers. Oh, that's okay. That, that was what I was thinking anyway. I'd got my order of magnitude wrong. I do apologize, people. So we, we can get there. We're about a quarter of the way already. Very much nearly through, through our fuel source, though. But it's okay. This is just supposed to get up, get up um, relatively high. We, we've hit the fuel... The, the uh, speed bracket and we're still hitting the speed bracket now we're just going to make sure that all this um, 
staging is in the right right order because when this one runs out we really need to drop all this and start this engine up um, hopefully we're still going up at a relative relatively fast pace uh, okay I'm ready for our staging go there we go and hopefully this is going to push us up even higher uh, okay we're about halfway up that's not great to be fair that we, we want to be we, we could really do with being up higher than that but that, that's, this should be all right well, um, if nothing else our forward forward momentum should carry us up into the correct areas um, we are 15 kilometers up we're trying to end for 22 if nothing else these solid boosters should get us there I, I am worried that the solid boosters are going to push us far too far far too fast that, that's the word I'm looking for far too fast because there's there's three engines there yeah and that's an awful lot of thrust um, awful lot of uncontrollable thrust as well which is a little bit annoying uh, so we've gone over our speed allowance I'm not sure how to stop this we can't once, once solid boosters are going they're going um, our very can we turn down and just stop our speed gone too far this is inconvenient some might say uncontrolled well that was that fail uh, let's so we've set the altitude record now we just got to try and test the parachute at this height now this is going to mean that we are going to get very uh, what's the word? we're gonna have a very long boring downward progression I'm gonna take the moment to uh, skip forward a little bit here oh look music uh, I'm gonna take the, 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 the opportunity to skip forward a little bit here because we're going up so fast and uh, I'm gonna wait until we come down back within this um, altitude bracket and hopefully we'll be all right hopefully altitude uh, record set 1.6 uh, 164 kilometers uh, that was three minutes if you were wondering guys Okay, so we've just re-entered the atmosphere and I'm going to try and time warp our way through. We're now within the right... Oh, look at this. We're now within the right um, altitude bracket. No, it's gone, it's gone too far. We dropped through far too quickly. Right, so we've still got testing to do, which is vaguely annoying. Uh, let's drop down really quickly. Uh, we'll get down to the 500 metres and then we'll recover our vessel. Um, sorry, down to the 500 metres stop time accelerating because whoa um forces forces could break my ship there we go and then we're just going to times four drop our way down we're traveling at 13 meters per second that's quite fast um and we've got the last sort of 50 meters or so to drop and awesome once again we lost all the bits of the water we need more parachutes this is a must more power and we need to do some science observing the mystery goo yeah, we'll take this. Goo escapes into the water. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. Um, now, can we get Jeb out? Can he do an EVA? What is, where does it say? Flying over Kerbin's water. That's that's one way to get some science. So we'll pop that in there. Uh, and now we're going to get him off. Yeah, we're going to get Jeb off. You heard me. Uh, we're going to do a EVA report. Take surface sample. And then hopefully get him back on. Or not, as the case may be. There really needs to be a better way for Jeb to just kind of reach up there. I mean, you'd expect that that right in front of his face would be well within arm's reach, wouldn't you? You'd expect so, but no. No. Um, oh, there was a grab. F to grab. There we go. And then we board it. Oh, that was a little bit awkward. All right, we got some science, 51 bits of science. Uh, we got some parts back, nowhere near as many parts as I was hoping for. We had solid boosters and all sorts on there that we lost. Um, and we got Jeb back for an awful lot of reputation. So that's the, I'm not sure what the reputation is actually used for. Let's look at the contracts that we have left. Achieve an orbit and then do some testing at ridiculous heights. That's all right. Um, any more contracts available? <laughs> Yes, many more contracts available. Gene was very enthusiastic about that. Right, before anything, let's just 
get these radial parachutes so we can start recovering more bits. I, th I think that's a good plan. Do you think that's a good plan? I, yeah, I think that's the best plan, actually, to be honest. Uh, and we're going to have some radial decouplers as well, because they're also... Oh, look, they changed the... Now, from my reckon, from my remembrance, yeah, <laughs> um, these all cost the same amount of science last time, but they were different, man. What about this one? It's 45, 45... Uh, they're all at 45, but then they're all on the same low level. Maybe these ones at the different pitch. We're doing different things. All right, so this is our next goal, is the Science Junior, because, you know, science means prizes. All right, and back in here, what do we want to test? I mean, there's just, there's so much stuff we want to test, and a lot of things have exp expiration dates now. Okay, let's forget the ones with expiration dates, because we all know that I'm rubbish at this game and, you know, I, I will just completely mess it up. Uh, so what we need to do is have a look in here and be like, hey, what went wrong with this? The bottom stage went wrong with this. It wasn't powerful enough or maybe powerful enough is the wrong term. It, it wasn't quite well laid out enough. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do this. We're going to test something as well. Now, in all the old versions, it didn't matter that you put these on decouplers and then put parachutes on the bot on the sides of them to, to bring them back safely because it ended up just like disappearing at 2.4 kilometers or whatever it is. Now I want to know whether it um, retrieves them or, or what. Uh, we're going to put two sets on and hopefully they'll come down flat. Oh, will it not go on there? There we go. That, that's the hope. Whether this hope will... Um, happen or not as a as, as another matter right we're going to put another fuel tank on here hopefully the to weight ratio doesn't get too out of hand um we should we should this should be all right should be all right uh and this top this top platform this is this is wrong this is all sorts of wrong um if we take this off if we break this here what i'm going to do is put this in the middle with the structural supports around the outside, and then we're going to have a throttable, throttleable engine on the outside. Because this should now give us some sort of control, right? That's the plan, anyway. Uh, right, is everything back where it needs to be? Uh, I oh, I doubt it. Let's let's have a look. So these two fire. That's that's good. Now, what we actually want is that. Then these all fire at once, apart from the solid booster is on its own. Ooh, no, solid booster is on its own. These two both do need to actually get tested at the same place, but no, uh, whatever. Okay, so testing platform number three. Again, we're not going to save it, it's just a testing platform. Let's get going. All right, I don't think we need, really need to talk much about this. Uh, Jebediah, plat um, launch number four. Still not dead, surprisingly. Uh, I, I am actually really surprised at this. I was expecting to have killed Jeb at least, well, not, not a couple of times over. I was expecting to go, oh, I didn't put any radial, you know what, I'm going to revert right now to, to vehicle set. I, did, I didn't put any uh, radial parachutes on the outside of the main ship, and we all know that blows up. So let's deal with that. Like so, do you reckon? I reckon. It looks good. Let, let's get this all lined up right. There we go. That, that should hopefully bring us back safely. I, I say it hope, you know, and you know what? Let's put some aerodynamic nose cones on for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Uh, we don't need any fins. We don't. Oh, let's, let's go again. I, I only wanted to put parachutes on. Okay, as I said, Jebediah Kerman launch, launch four, something like that. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we're going to. Right, so we've, we've got surface samples from water, we've got surface samples from grasslands. Let's, let, let's go, oh, that's south, I want to go north. Let's go north, see if we can get anything from the northern lands. I'm not expecting much, to be honest, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of SAS on because it feels slightly unbalanced. I say that, it always feels slightly unbalanced when I use these large fuel, uh, large solid boosters. Uh, might be something to do with the way I attach them to the ship or something, but yeah, they, they, they never seem to be firing um, exactly on the thrust vector, shall we say. Uh, there, there generally seems to be some sort of um, problem with that. 
this is what we're looking for. So we've got the speed, we've got the altitude, uh, we've got the speed, we've got the conditions. We don't have the altitude. We're going to drop those boosters. May or may not have done what they need to do. Um, I, I, I have no idea how we're going to find out. They'll either disappear at two kilometres or they won't. Uh, so let's throttle up a bit. Um, we're going too slow. Oh, we're still going too slow. This is not good. Uh, this, is all, <laughs> this is all types of not good. Um, well, let's just see what happens. Yeah, we're, we're actively slowing down. Okay, so my next plan would be to take this middle one out and replace it with a slightly smaller fuel tank. That's a shame. I really, I really did think we we're going to be doing all right. Um, are, we, are we nearly out of fuel in this stage? We are nearly out of fuel in this stage, and it's still too heavy. So it might actually be... Oh, look. There we go, 58. 58. We're, we're starting to speed up again. So we're still going up. That is the main thing. Because if we weren't going up, we could say it's a complete and utter disaster. But... It's all right. We're going up, and 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 that's good. I guess. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we're coming up for nearly our staging, um, with the liquid fuels firing afterwards. This is good. We got three of them, so we should be able to get a little bit more height this time. Uh, so a double double stage, and off we go. That's, look, at, look at this. Perfect. Um, let's go over thus words. Thus words. Uh, trying to reach up uh, about 22 kilometers, as, as we say from last time. Oh, go far too fast this time. We don't. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to be pushing up at double the speed we want. Let's let's start dropping that speed down. Um, I know this looks like I'm dropping it quite severely, but I reckon that when we get down to 200, uh, we've hit the right altitude. So let's start going sideways instead of up. Might be a good idea, I'm guessing, maybe. Uh, and we're just waiting for this last last tick to to be achieved. Oh, look, we missed the solid fuel thing. Oh, I wish I was watching that one, not this one. Okay, so what we can do... Do you think the three radial parachutes will be enough to catch me? Because what I can do is cut that, deploy it. Oh, is it not going to deploy? Oh, we've gone too high. Oh no, how do we stop the deployment? Uh, and how do we stop going so fast? Well, we stop going so fast by doing this. Oh, no. Why is it spinning around so much? Oh, it's almost like I've got no reaction wheels open on my science yet. <laughs> okay, so we're still going up. Let's get our surface velocity down. Hopefully, We'll drop back through at the right sort of speeds. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm just kind of bodging this. You may, you may have noticed I do bodge things quite often. Uh, I, I wish I was like top-notch rocket scientist who could do things exactly how he wanted when he wanted, but I'm not. Um, so we're just going to have to, you know, make do with my my really bad attempts at doing these things. <laughs> uh, right. So let's throw this up a bit we're trying to get between 90 meters per second and 290 and we're currently at 300 odd okay so we now meet all those can we i've deployed the shoot why 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 won't the shoot work like, actually why won't that shoot work um let's set up a new bit of staging there we go okay so we did that <sighs> Easy, right? <laughs> right, we're going to come down to uh, this altitude and then we're going to do a solid fuel burn. Hopefully. Maybe. I'm not I'm not sure what that's going to do. Um, but that's what we get. Let's do it. Yeah, that's, that's not gone at all wrong. Uh, in fact, that, that's all right. We're, we're doing all right. Uh, we wanted to point northwards, right? Let's, let's point north. The last thing we want to do is actually um, get our speeds down into minus numbers so the uh, the parachute will pull. Oh, parachute's pulling me around. <laughs> oh well, at least like this, hopefully the uh, the parachute, uh, the the solid fuel will burn itself out before actually getting rid of the parachute. There we go. And now we've just got our eternal drop. 
Um, but we did everything. Uh, the only thing left to do is achieve orbit. And I think we have all the bits where we can achieve orbit. Um, maybe not this episode, because already this episode is run, running long. Uh, because, again, my engineering skills, they're not good. Um, right, that was the parachute opening. Uh, uh, I just kind of instinctively knew then when to press. Uh, and hopefully, very soon, we'll let all the other parachutes out and we're going to slow down a lot. Go and slow down! That was slow down enough. We only lost all our engines. Uh, right, what biome are we in? How do we find out? Does it tell us anywhere what biome we're in? Uh, let's do the crew report. Grasslands. We've already got a Grasslands crew report, surely. Um, I don't know. Let's get, let's get Jeb out. Oh, he, he can't get out. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> and I think with the conclusion of that particular episode, uh, that particular mission, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this episode. Here's all the science we got. Here's all the parts we recovered. Much better than last time. Like, so much better. We had oxidised with liquid fuel left over. Oh, well. I got, like, 61 grand back for that. Nice. And the crew, once again, got us a load of rep. Uh, nice. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. Next time, we will try and get up into orbit and do some of the other testing things that it's asking us to test. Yeah. I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!